place in your life I'm just a game in your eyes Something that you could replace at any point Good morning Vikings, I'm Irving I'm Timberland Today is January 22nd The song you just heard was by Kenny Donovan, her new single, Better Kenny's been, Kennedy's been working really hard to produce her EP and it'll be coming out shortly in a few weeks. What's happening for sports this week? The Lady Vikings Senior Night is coming up against Concordia, honoring Kennedy Donovan. She's been here for so long, improving year after year. She's just like the best thing ever. Yeah. Uh, any spring sports coming up? Yeah, it's tennis, track, golf, and lacrosse are starting this their season this month. Uh, that's cool. The Spirit team just came back from their state competition. Uh, they played six out of 13 teams, and three of our fellow Vikings, Kim, Claire, and uh, Salome, placed, got individual awards. That's awesome. What's happening in weather? Uh, it's going to be cloudy and rainy. Uh, make sure y'all bring y'all's jackets. Vikings, remember to always wear your ID badges at all times, making it visible throughout the day. Uh, how did the sports go last semester? They did really great. Here's a short clip to, sh to recap off this season. Um, practice is definitely really tough in cross country since it's uh, 5.30 a.m. every single morning, including Saturdays. But um, we definitely practiced a lot, and it was worth it since by the end of the season, I got a position in state. And I hope next season we get to practice a lot and improve and that the season goes well. When they got to state, it was obvious that before they started running, everyone was like nervous and like state is obviously a big thing. But they worked up to it and overall we did pretty well. For like all, majority of the girls team being their first year, they all ran pretty well. After six years, it's a lot of growth that I've seen in the program and by far this is the most talented team that we have ever had. Uh, we have a lot of girls that are willing to work really, really hard to get where we deserve to be with this team. Um, we have our center, Jada Malone, who's just out of this world. She's incredible. And we've brought in a couple new guards, uh, Timmy, Aiken, just people that are really going to build our team and uh, make sure that we get to where we need to be. The thing that I'm most excited for this season is making sure that we live up to our potential. Like I just said, we're the most talented team that we have ever had in the history of this program, and we are willing to work to get to where we need to be. So our first game's coming up. That's going to go really well, and I'm just really excited to see what we can do this season and make sure that we get to where we deserve to be. Uh, we're going to get a banner in that new gym that we just built because there's nothing in there right now. But by the end of this year, that's going to change. Pretty good. We're coming together as a team so far right now. Uh, this week, this week's tournament should be pretty good for us to build our confidence and everything going into district. But I hope it's a lot uh, considering we're being tested right now. So for district, no one should be able to mess with us. Wow. Our team's really fin finished the year strong. Yeah, our school did a lot last semester, like the ALS Day of Silence hosted by Zoe and Zaid. Here's a video. So actually, about a year ago, um, November 28th to be exact, my dad was actually diagnosed with ALS. So that was really devastating to our family and it kind of changed the course of our life. I mean, even in a year, a lot has happened, a lot has changed. So it's just been very difficult for us. So we're trying really hard. Our, our main mission right now is to just let more people know about it. It's, I mean, so we've done, of course, a day of silence. We've done a uh, walk with ALS Association uh, last week where around 1,000 people attended and we raised $250,000 for the cause. Our team ourselves, we were 200 people out of them and we raised around $30,000, so that's another thing. And also we have established a website that's grown very popular. My sister is actually running that very well. Uh, it's called ALSHeroes.com. It's where we talk about different treatments, different meal plans, different therapies, different uh, coping mechanisms. It just has a little bit of everything for the patients. So the day of silence, it was basically just an attempt to raise awareness for this disease because a lot of people don't know about it other than maybe Stephen Hawking, um, who passed away from ALS, or the Ice Bucket Challenge in 2014, which a lot of you probably participated in. But yeah, it was just an attempt to raise some awareness and maybe make it a sort of viral thing and good thing it was successful. It worked out very well. That's all we have for you, Vikings, this week. Tune in next week.
Uh, if you have any news that you want us to share, email VHS now. The link is above. I'm Timberland. I'm Irving. My blurs in your life. I'm just a game in your eyes. Something that you could replace at any point in time. Well, let me open your eyes. Recently, I realized I set the bar so much higher than you could ever reach. I don't care how hard you try. I